When speaking about religion, attention is often brought to the five major world religions. Christianity, Islam, Judaism, Hinduism, and Buddhism. These traditions dominate public religious life, and for that reason, they grab a lot of attention in the world. During the early 17th century, which is commonly known as the Age of Enlightenment, a philosophical movement developed where intellectuals, philosophers, and theologians saw moral and social problems with organized religions. Biblical stories were in contradiction with new scientific discoveries, and as a result, these thinkers began to use reason to attempt to understand knowledge of the divine and absolute truth. It can be understood as the religion of nature, meaning that one could understand God through reason, rationality, and an objective inquiry into natural phenomena. This movement was called deism, and in this video, we'll be looking to understand this philosophy, including its historical origins, its rationality, and also its criticisms in the 21st century. I hope you enjoyed this video, and without further ado, you're watching All Things Humanities. While deism is known for its prevalence during the Age of Enlightenment, where there were new discoveries in political theory and science, deism was evident in the early ancient Greek world. It was the famous Greek philosopher Aristotle who formulated the term telos, meaning purpose. Aristotle thought that the best way to understand why things are the way they are is to understand what purpose they were designed to serve. For example, man had the ability to reason, and therefore man should reason. This line of thinking extended to why we had purpose, inferring that the natural world is designed for human beings to live and exist in the world. The next logical progression was that natural phenomenon cannot exist unless it was created by a supernatural entity. For many world religions, this is the intellectual and, if you like, philosophical basis for believing in an all-powerful God that is beyond nature and material. However, in the deistic tradition, the supreme being, or creator, does not intervene in human affairs and in the universe. As a result, we can define deism as belief in the existence of a supreme being, specifically of a creator who does not intervene in the universe. Once again, Islamic, Jewish and Christian belief, through their respective texts, all believe that God does have the ability to intervene in the universe. For example, if you are sick and you're seeking medical treatment, the theistic position suggests that God can answer your prayer, intervene and potentially cure your sickness. The deistic worldview suggests that this is not possible for God does not intervene in the natural world. The most profound modern deist was Lord Herbert of Sherbury, a historian and philosopher who searched for the foundations of knowledge. In his work, De Veritate, Herbert aimed to separate truths from experience. He thought that truths are imprinted into our minds and it's evidenced by their universal acceptance. So regardless of culture, time or place, certain statements of the world were universally true. For example, the act of killing somebody is morally wrong, regardless of which country it happens in. Murdering somebody in England is the same as murdering somebody in Saudi Arabia, which is the same as murdering someone in Indonesia. In the end, Lord Herbert created the five common notions that unified all religious beliefs, which were, one, there is one supreme God, two, God should be worshipped, Three, virtue are the main parts of divine worship. Four, we should be remorseful for our sins and repent. And five, divine goodness dispenses rewards and punishments, both in this life and after it. According to the deists, these principles of life could be discerned from reason alone and did not require a divine revelation to understand them. We didn't need God to come to the earth and tell us if we logically looked at our human nature, we could decipher these ethics and act them out to live good lives. Deism implies that we can discover moral truths by reason and through our own conscience. While these beliefs were strong in Great Britain, they inevitably spread to the 13 colonies of America. Deism was critical in the thinking of Thomas Jefferson, 
who asserted principles of religious freedom in the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. Once again, the idea that man was free to practice his or her religion stemmed from the idea of purpose. These ideas became popular when humanity began to lose faith in organized religion, where corrupted priests manipulated religion for its own personal gain. Additionally, the siege of Constantinople meant that Europe saw the destruction of religious war and opted for a universal belief system, regardless of one culture's particular beliefs. It is important to remember that there is a clear distinction between the acts of religious institutions who do have the ability to act in contradiction to teaching. Deism rejects all forms of supernatural phenomena, including the stories of the miraculous in the Old Testament, New Testament, and the Quran. Instead, deists believe that God established the laws of nature and then stepped away, for God had created his creation and there was no need for him to intervene again. They believe that if God had to intervene in his creation, that would be insulting to his omnipotence, meaning that he really would not be all-powerful. David Hume, a Scottish philosopher, argued this in his Natural History of Religion, claiming that religion is a psychological phenomenon that arises out of the fear of the unknown. In 2018, the Turkish Ministry of Education report, titled The Youth is Sliding Towards Deism, claimed that deism has been growing in Turkey while Islam is being repudiated. In the United States, deists grew from 6,000 to 49,000 between the years 1990 and 2001, and 12% of believers in the US believe in a deist concept of the divine as a higher power rather than a personal god. But that brings us to the end of this video on deism. Is deism a logical and rational position? If so, why? I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to press that like button and subscribe for more content like this.